Joining us now to discuss the recent violence in Chicago is Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas, who has lived on Michigan Avenue for many years. For many Good years. Good morning. Since 1998. Good morning. How so, are you? Uh, doing well. Obviously, uh, you know, violence anywhere in the city is just heartbreaking, and it seems like there's been a big uptick uh, coming to different neighborhoods, though. What does that mean for the city? The city, the city is in the intensive care unit for all practical purposes. We, we are in a situation where 1% of the people are causing 100% of the problem. So you've got 99% literally of the citizens in the city, blacks, whites, Asians, Greeks, Italians, Lithuanians, who say, you know, I don't like this. I hate this. I want this change, and then you've got this 1%. So the question is, how does the 99% get pulled together to handle this 1% of the problem, which is an extraordinarily difficult problem because a truthful mayor can't solve this alone. A truthful mayor cannot solve this problem alone. This is a generational problem. This has been brewing for the last three generations. And why is it brewing? Here's why it's brewing. We have rewarded we have rewarded men for not being in the homes. We have rewarded men for not being in the homes because if you're a female with kids, you get a check if the man's not in the house. So the consequences are hundreds and hundreds of kids who have never known a father. So this is a, a ancient sort of philosophical stance I take. Do you feel that people care about you? If you're in this home and there's no father, okay, where are you going to go for that male model? The gang sees you as vulnerable and they pick you up. They pick you up and you now become part of a structure where you're wanted and you're cared about. This situation isn't going to get solved by setting up a curfew on Michigan Avenue. This, this is going to require someone who steps up to the plate and says, you know what, we need a long range plan. Because saying that, you know, I'm going to fix this by, by putting a Band-Aid on this city that's in the intensive care unit doesn't work. That, yeah, that, that's a big, clearly that is a big picture issue that you raise along with education and so forth and so on. But there are people who say, I'm not going downtown anymore. So what is the short-term solution? Is it more police officers? Is it getting officers to do a job that they kind of really don't want to do because of events in recent years? How do it's you change couple, that? It's a couple of things. It's, it's enforcement, okay? This rule, this rule that anything... You, go take anything, walk into Walgreens, take $1,000 worth of stuff, go into any Walgreens in the city, pick up as much liquor as you want and walk out, no enforcement. Number two is, who is on the police force? Fact of the matter is, no one wants to become a policeman. They ran a police test, and only 404 people showed up for the physical test, yeah. and of the 404 who showed up, four passed. You're down 3,600 officers. You're down. This is not a question of, let me fix this quickly. This is a question of long-range planning. So let me tell you how this works. No one, no one will be able to run this city unless there is a rising up in the person running It says, hey, 99%, you got to get involved. You need to care about the city. You need to turn your fear into hope. What are you doing to help? So you call upon, you call upon as mayor, you call upon the CEOs to get involved. People in retirement, you're gonna, you are gonna come. Howard Tolman, you're gonna come and work for free. You're gonna go to the airport and help my people. The head of LaSalle Bank, you're gonna come in and you're gonna go out and you are gonna help with the finances. Do you blame the mayor at all? You know what, listen, she's one of the smartest people I know, but being smart in this town to get your ride on a CTA bus. This is about pulling everybody together. This is about recognizing that the enemy is not in the room. You gotta get, I, you know, I talked to her one day. I said, listen, Lord, you gotta embrace the people who hate you. You gotta embrace the people who hate you because the enemy's not in the room. The enemy's not in the room. So, so my, my plea is for those who really care about this city, they need to rise up and get involved. How do you get involved? There's a hundred ways to get involved. But look at the stats. One third of the people in this town who can vote register to vote. And of the third who register to vote, only one third of those who register to vote vote. One ninth of the people yeah. are calling who's in office here. So the and people are getting what they deserve, is what you say. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Stand up and be yeah. counted and say you're going to do something about this. About Maria this. Pappas, yeah. we appreciate you joining us. For more, you can head to cookcountytreasurer.com. Thanks for being with us, Maria. Okay, great to see you. Have Thank you. Pat and Paul.